The Master of Influence Award is presented annually to an individual who significantly influenced people through exceptional speaking abilities and whose distinguished career has brought honor and recognition to the speaking profession. This year's recipient has given over 6,000 speeches in 34 countries on sales and marketing. Our recipient has also taken his oratory skills and business knowledge to his local community where he has served in over 18 boards as well as being on the founding board of NSA and one of our past presidents. He has been a mentor to many of us in this room. Today he is the owner and CEO of a top-rated training company in America specializing in sales, leadership, and employee motivation. He is a New York Times number one best-selling author. He has written 13 books and authored scores of audio, video, and online programs. My dear colleagues, it is my personal privilege and honor to present to you the 2014 Master of Influence Award recipient, CSP, CPAE, and Cavett Award winner, Don Hudson. Thank you, Ron Carr, and the leadership of NSA for this incredible award. I'm appreciative, I'm humbled, and I'm absolutely delighted. Well, I guess I'm the last man standing as far as people who've attended all NSA conventions. I'd like it a lot better if Bill Johnson and John Hammond were still here this year. But what a great tribute to them. Give those two guys one more hand. I love coming to the NSA convention, and I'm glad I've never missed one. I love to tell people, they say, where are you going? I said, I'm going to San Diego to the National Speakers Association Convention, the only meeting on the planet where nobody can get a word in edgewise. <laughs> All kidding aside, we've got some great listeners because we come here to learn from each other. Every now and then I'll talk to a speaker who says, hey, aren't you involved in NSA? And I say, uh, yeah, I have been from the beginning. Well, should I go to that meeting? What am I going to get out of it? And my general response to that is, you know, if you come to the NSA meeting, attend the sessions, you're going to meet some people you'll like and enjoy, make some new friends, you'll learn some things. But if you come to the meeting to really give back, it'll change your life forever. That, in my opinion, is the power of NSA. And I've seen it for years and years. People who show up on day one, an old boy who couldn't lead a group in silent prayer, leaves on day five, 10 feet tall, and a master of oratory. Because he attended the sessions, he learned some things, he gained some confidence, and he got the influence of NSA. Well, I want to thank the people who have influenced me, and first and foremost is my wife and soulmate, Terry Murphy Hudson, sitting right here. Terry, thank you for being the greatest. About 13 years ago, we were dating, and a friend of hers she hadn't talked to for a while called her and said, Terry, I hear you've moved to Memphis, and you're, you're going to get married, and you're with Don Hudson. And she said, that's right. She said, is he a nice guy? I said, yeah, he's a nice guy. And, and then she said, well, is he rich? And she said, I don't know if he's got any money or not, but he's a billionaire in friends. Greatest compliment I've ever been paid. Thank you, honey. So, uh, brief mention of some of my mentors. 47 years ago last month, I was a senior in college and I attended a sales rally in Memphis. One of the speakers was Dr. Kenneth McFarland. During his speech, and I was 21 years old, I actually got chills and I was almost overcome from listening to this great man speak, like four or five times. Charlie Tremendous Jones was on the program. Larry Wilson was on the program. 
At the end of that meeting, I walked out to the promoter, Dick Gardner, and I said, I want to go to work for you. I graduate from college in six weeks. He said, can you meet me for breakfast in the morning? And I said, yes, sir, I can. And I did, and we struck a deal. And I went to work promoting sales rallies and congresses, and that was my entree into this business. And, of course, ultimately the thing that introduced me, not only to the profession we love and we're part of, but, of course, to NSA. So Dr. McFarlane, I asked him one time over dinner. I'd used him many times on my seminars. We became great friends. Took me three years, by the way, to talk him into joining NSA. He always said, I'm not a joiner, Don. I said, Dr. Mack, I know you're not a joiner, and I know you don't need NSA, but NSA needs you. And that's all I had to say. He joined. His influencer was William Jennings Bryan, one of the greatest orators who ever lived, a great politician. Another was... Sir Winston Churchill. And one night over dinner, Dr. Mack also said, uh, we were talking about the business. He said, Don, we got to take that lectern seriously. I said, yes, sir. He said, and the first thing we got to do is preserve our republic. And he started talking about Winston Churchill. And what a great man he was. And encouraged me to become a follower of Winston Churchill. My favorite Churchill line is, socialism is the philosophy of failure the creed of ignorance, the gospel of envy, and its only inherent virtue is the equal sharing of misery. In addition to Dr. McFarland, I, of course, was influenced by Bill Gove. And while Dr. McFarland is saying, take the platform seriously, Bill Gove is saying, Don, don't take yourself or the platform too seriously. You've got to have some fun. And he's the one that taught me not only the significance of, but how to learn and use humor on the platform. Cavett Robert, what a mentor, what a great man. Cavett and I, give him a hand. We still love you, Cavett. I learned so many things from Cavett, and he was so generous, and we did many, many seminars together for a number of years. And I remember uh, in 71 when I started speaking for a fee, he said, uh, you know, Don, you've done a few meetings now. Uh, get copies of those brochures talking about you speaking at those meetings. Listen, I'll help you put together a cover letter. And he said, I got a mailing list of about 5,500. Let's do a mailing for you. And Cavett Robert gave me his meeting planner's mailing list where I did my first mailing. Generosity. He was one, one who thought and lived with abundance, not a perspective of scarcity. He just wanted to help. And so many people in this room were beneficiaries of that great spirit. Charlie Tremendous Jones always said he was the sum total of the people he'd met and the biographies that he had read. What he shared with his audience was, five years from now, you'll be the same as you are today, except for the people you meet and the books you read. What an influence, spiritually and business-wise. And my friend and colleague and co-author, Ken Blanchard. Ken, thank you for being here today, and thank you for all of the influence that you've brought to this profession. Let's give Ken Blanchard a hand over here. Ken's got four or 500 people in his company that he owns, but he gave himself the title Chief Spiritual Officer. He's not looking for ego. He's just trying to help. What can he do to help other people, clients, colleagues, be the best they can be? And Ken, nobody's better than you at doing that. My favorite Ken Blanchard line is just because you've done something well, don't let your ego eat your brain. <laughs> How many of us know people who did that? Well, I'd say let's think and come from abundance, not scarcity. Let's remember we can come here, we can help, we can give, we can be a part of NSA in a vigorous manner, and we can make a real difference. Or we can come here with scarcity and just come to get, and we probably won't continue to come because it's not real, nearly as rewarding. So my final word to you is, it's one of the greatest businesses this world has to offer. And I want you to do everything in your power to be the best you can be and Reach down in your gut and grab the rest of your destiny because it's there for you through NSA. God bless.